plan is to pull these door panels off and get those six and a halfs up in here. Then once all that's done, I can close up all this stuff and all the wiring, everything in the back will be ready to go. I can wire up the amp rack, plug it in, and it should play right away. But this is the last little pain in the ass part to do right here. Now I gotta run this wire through the door jams. 
but I'm not gonna be able to get through the stock boot. It's a pain in the ass. So we're gonna run it right next to it. I'll put some tech flex on it. It should look pretty good. Should be protected okay. It's hard to see, but it's in there and looks good. Hey, now that that wire's ran, I can run this directly into this crossover and then run the two sets out to the tweeter and to the mid, and then I'm done with that. Everything's super solid, ready to go. All right, these door panels are ready to go back on. But one thing I had to do real quick is hook up the tweeter wire. What I like to do, I like to put detachable ends on these in case you ever have to pull the door panel off. You don't want to have to cut the wires and worry about that. You just pop them off, put them back on. We got a male and a female and a male and a female and we got the opposites on this side. So. Even if somebody that doesn't know what they're doing pulls this panel off, they can't get that wrong. So let's put this back on, call it done. Right, something like this right here. Can't even get that wrong, even if you don't know what you're doing. test bench over to here just to see if they're working and they are so we're good to go little test wire it's all working good there you go now it's time to pull this amp rack out wire it up we got a punch 1000 we got a punch 300 we got an amp rack to build we got fusing we got distribution we got a board and we got some carpet. All right, so the head unit is in. All the wiring is done, including the big three up front. The mids and highs are done. All the crossovers are in. The whole car is put back together except for the very back. I got wires over in the back ready to go. All I really have to do is wire this thing up right here and hook up the speakers. It's gonna be a minute because I gotta make sure that everything is right. 
but it really shouldn't be that much more. Stay tuned for video number three as we wire it up and fire it up and see how this thing sounds. Why the hell don't I just finish this job up and make one big super long video? Well, the last video was 20 minutes. That's probably a record for me. I don't know if I've done a 20 minute video and if I have, I haven't done that many. But these 4K videos are no joke to work with. So I'm splitting this thing up into three videos. The third video is gonna be wiring it up, firing it up, taking a listen. Actually, it's gonna be four videos because you're gonna get to see the look on his face the first day that he gets to hear it. So stay tuned. I'll get this thing wired up. We'll get it playing and we'll finish this up the right way. Thanks for watching.